Hello and welcome to today's Python tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to make a word cloud in Python. Let's see how it works. So if I paste in my text and press enter, you see this word cloud image is generated. And word cloud is basically uh, the most frequent words are bigger in size. They're more salient like chapter and book and research and provide. These are more frequent than a word like within or I don't know, idea or example. So this is what a word cloud is. That is an image of the most frequent content words in a piece of text. And the bigger the size of the, uh, the word, it means it occurs more often in that text. Okay, so we are going to use this, um, use Streamlit to make this in a few lines of code. It's super easy. Now open up your code editor or IDE. Now I have uh, downloaded, installed, and imported these libraries I'm going to tell you. So first we need to install Streamlit. So just down in your um, terminal, pip install Streamlit and then import it. Import Streamlit as ST, just a nickname or alias. Then in, uh, you should pip install WordCloud and then import it like this from WordCloud import WordCloud, uppercase W and C. And then also pip install matplotlib to display the image and then import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Once you've done the, these steps, then we can start by just checking. Uh, we are going to give a title to our streamlit app. Let's just call it word cloud app. And, and here I save it. And down below in the terminal, I should run this command streamlit run main.py. Main is the name of my file here. So if I press enter, it starts a uh, local server here and just wait for it. You see at this address and opens it up for me. Okay, now we have word cloud app. Now we need to ask for the user's input. So we go back and here we say text, just a random variable, st. Uh, oops, st dot uh, text input to ask for users input from Streamlit and let's say enter text and press enter something like that. If I save it and go back, you, you should see here we have this message to make it always run after saving the source code. We need to do this and now this happens here. Awesome. Okay, now let's go down below and let's say if text, it means if there is value in that input field and someone presses like enter, something should happen. So what we need to do is to, to generate the, uh, the word cloud now. So we say w equals word cloud that we just imported with w and c should be uppercase. And now we need to apply a method to it. The method is generate and generate what? Text. So it's going to generate a word cloud based on the text that the user inputs and saves it into W. Now that we have it, we should display it using plt or matplotlib. So we say plt dot im show, which is for stands for image show and we give it this argument of W, that is the generated word cloud. We are going to show it. And then let's say ST using streamlit.py.pyplot and it should do the trick. Now, if I save this and go, where was that? Go back. Uh, let's copy this piece of text, a long text and paste it and press enter. We get this warning that you go calling this and blah, blah. So we need to disable this um, warning by copying this code, set option, deprecation and blah, blah. Just copy this and you can see it happens anyways. So let's go back and paste it up there, like maybe here, save it, go back and great. We only have these, so we need to get rid of them. Uh, so let's just say plt dot axis and let's set it to off. Off. Now save it and go back and you should get rid of this. And we have our word cloud. Awesome. 
So just in five minutes, that was it. Thank you very much for watching and listening.